Hi everyone, it's Chenzo from Reality Art Pod, here to talk about the cast for the Challenge All-Stars Season 4. Before I dive into it, I'm going to be covering this season on my YouTube, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. Season's coming out April 10th on Paramount+, Plus, and if you click the link in the subject, you can get started with Paramount+, Plus for free. So let's dive into it and go alphabetically. For each person, I thought about their stats and how well I think they'd actually perform on the challenge and also what they bring in terms of story or drama. Firstly, let's start with Ace. I think the producers love Ace because he's good in confessionals and acts as a good narrator for the episodes he's on. And he has confidence that you always think he's gonna be good at the challenge, but the reality is he's not memorable surely because he historically has had some of the worst stats in the challenge, being zero for three in eliminations. He's eliminated either first or second on those seasons and he makes to a final on a losing team on a season where he went into no eliminations. The stats alone give me no faith in him randomly triumphing and winning a solo season. Next is Adam. This is a player who was really strong in his original run, and I love All-Stars for bringing back these players who played in team seasons, and it would be really great to see how he performs individually. It seems like he stays fit and looks like a nice guy and a dad. He's slaying in this photo. Go off, looking better than ever, King. Next is Avery. Firstly, this headshot, she left no crumbs. As a rookie, she went on X's with Johnny where they won two eliminations before being eliminated in episode 7. Then she comes back partnered with Leroy and they're DQ'd because of Leroy's back pain and we just never see her again. It seems like we were robbed. She never really got a fair chance to have a run at this and could have just returned to the regular challenge, but this is probably better for her because she knows some people. Ayana is back. I didn't remember Ayana at all before her last All-Stars, but she ended up being pretty good in eliminations and she had the drama with Jody about the Greek salad, which I think was so funny and definitely justified an invitation back, but she didn't have the stamina to actually follow through, so I'm sure she's been training, but looking at this cast, I'm still not confident in her being the winner. Brad is back. I've said this before and I'll say it again again. I've seen enough of this beard. It's so crazy. We last saw Brad losing his shoesy on an elimination in season 39, and I think yes, he's a good competitor, but is it worth it? He's such a menace, but I do think it's funny when other players make fun of him, but again, is it worth it? His stats aren't the best, but I do think they're gonna have a hard time getting him out of the game for a long time. Next is Brandon, who's played in five challenges and never won. I think he's a nice guy. He's got some people he goes way back with, so socially, I think he's okay, but in five seasons, he's never gotten past episode 6. While I don't think he'll be the first person out, I don't think he'll be a winner pick for me. Cara Maria's back, who I used to not like, but upon my third rewatch of the whole show, I now love and feel like I get her. This is, I guess, her big return to the show, and I fully expect her to have a stranglehold on the season. I think she's peers with a lot of the people on this cast, but it's not her usual group of friends, and I think they're more likely to want her out than in, but I don't think it'll be easy for them to make that happen. She could definitely just body the whole season, but similar to Brad, I feel like she may be targeted heavy. I hope she gets her accent sorted out because on 39 and her hometowns, it was fully two different personas. Next is Derek, who's been on four challenges. He's someone who's a fun character on the show, not afraid to be silly and have some hookups back in the day, so I think he could definitely be fun, and it's fun to see him back together with some of his old friends, but his stats are terrible. He's really bad at eliminations, winning one out of five, and the one he won was against Tyree, who I'll talk about later and is even worse at eliminations, so I don't think he has a chance to really win a challenge unless he's just amazing at finals and we haven't seen it. We get Flora, who, I'll be honest, I don't really remember her, but sometimes these random cast members end up really bringing it and being memorable. Obviously, the producers see something in her that they feel like they can highlight, but overall, I don't have high expectations and can see her being one of the first boots just probably from not staying in touch with any of these people, but... She did have a few people on this cast on her season. She at least knows Adam and Veronica, but I don't know how far those two can take someone. Janelle is back, and she's a really strong player with great stats, competing in three seasons, winning one, and being runner-up on another. But I do question her commitment to the game, and feel like a win here is not as important to her as it is to other people who haven't won. But while she got by on All-Stars 2 being a strong competitor, I think in this cast, she's a bit outmatched. Next, we see the return of Jasmine, who's played in six challenges. I'm always excited to see Jasmine back, especially because the time of real world Cancun when she was on the challenge first was like the best time to be a challenge fan in middle school and high school for me. She's friends with Derek and I feel like they're similar players in that she's also fun and likable and at times messy but really bad at eliminations losing five out of six eliminations and only winning one against Caitlyn who was also one of the worst challengers of all time so that's not saying much. Overall I just don't have faith in Jasmine ever winning a challenge but I'd like to see her try. Here's Jay who was last seen getting to the final on his rookie season with Jenna and not being able to eat which is such a random weakness and the show loves puke for some reason so while I do think he's a good challenger and is probably good at eliminations despite never actually having been in an elimination he probably has a chance of winning if he can conquer his fear of eating 
on a character level, I think he was fun, and it's silly that he never came back to the main show because we never really got to see him live up to his potential. Cam, the killer herself, has some of the best stats on the board, getting to three finals out of five main challenges she's played in and winning eight out of ten eliminations, and against tough competitors, she's beat Tori, Ashley, and even Brad in eliminations, so I could definitely see her getting to this final. Add on top of that, she has a great story of being a mom and really continuing her long-standing growth narrative. I'm excited to see her back with Leroy to keep telling their story. There's Kefla, who played in one challenge and won it in 1999. Obviously, it's been 25 years and we can't really judge him on that, but on Instagram, he does keep in shape and he looks stacked here. I wouldn't want to go against him in eliminations. I don't think he'll win, but it's just fun seeing people come back after a long time and playing. We have Laurel here and I feel like we have a collective Mandela effect that Laurel has won more challenges than she really has, probably because she has great stats where she's been on 10 seasons. She won 10 out of 13 eliminations, made four finals, but only won one. It also helps that she has a lot of confidence, which brings out our confidence in her. She's also one to have messy house drama. It's exciting to see some history she has play out with Kara where they have a rivalry and they're fighting in the trailer and with Nicole where they're exes and we get to see them hook up again this season I guess. So overall I feel good about her chances of getting to a final here but she really chokes under pressure sometimes thinking of when she lost to Ninja and should have won at a climbing challenge and losing to Raven in a memory challenge recently. So I hope she can keep her focus and attention to detail when the heat is on. Also she's really flexing on this manicure in this picture. Leroy is coming out of retirement. I'm so excited for him to come back. He made such a big deal about Double Agents being his final season, but I don't really think he had to make such a big deal and formally retire, especially since here he's back again only a few years later. And he owned Double Agents. He was in a place where he was running the game and almost won. I really think he should have kept coming back because he would have made it to more finals. And his stats are also great because in 12 seasons, he's won 25 dailies, 9 out of 14 eliminations, and he's made 5 finals, which is super impressive because on one season he was medically DQ'd, and on some seasons he's had some really terrible luck with who he's partnered with. As I said, it's nice to see him and Cam back together, and you know if Roy Lee is there, all the guys are going to have fresh fades all season. Nicole is back after a while, and I've seen a lot of negativity in response to her being cast. I don't find her that annoying. She's annoying. But she brings a lot of juicy drama to the show, and we already know from the trailer she came prepared to do so again. She's a mystery to me because her stats are great. In three seasons, she won 10 dailies, made two finals, and then gets hurt on her third season, and just never comes back. It seems like unfinished business. I'm so excited for Rachel to return for many reasons. Firstly, her stats are great. In seven seasons, she won 23 dailies, made three finals, winning two of them. I would say her weakness is that she's lost two out of three eliminations, but in one of those, she was voted out of the game. And in another one, she lost because Anissa couldn't crawl. I'm pretty confident that she could body most, if not all of these girls, because she's jacked. She's the host of the Challenge Fitness Show. She also has an opportunity to make some good TV, being back with Veronica, her ex, so I bet we'll get some good, wholesome content from them. Ryan looks so cool in this picture. He's a fun character, someone who belongs on reality. TV and that's the big appeal to have him back and see what he's up to but his performance in the past is not the best in six seasons including all-stars he's lost five out of eight eliminations but he's made one final which is better than some he didn't do great on the last All-Stars, but this time around, he has a few more friends with his connection to Derek and co. They may be able to make an alliance and vote together, which is pretty much what they have to do, but overall, I find it hard to see him winning the season, barring some great social play. Next, we have Steve, who I feel like was a really random addition to All-Stars 2 and is now back. His stats are terrible. In three seasons, he lost three out of four eliminations, losing an elimination to Trishel, of all people, and the only elimination he's ever won was against Tanya, so I think the outlook is just bad for him. Cyrus has played in eight seasons so far far, he won two out of six eliminations, made two finals, and won one. They're not the worst numbers in the world, but I feel like he represents a period of time where he was one of the bigger characters on the show. He really just has no chance to win unless all of the really old school players band together, and they might have the numbers to do it, but it's unlikely. Tina has been on eight seasons now, making two finals back in the day, but never winning. She's won four of six eliminations, but her All-Stars runs have been disappointing, what with her giving up in All-Stars 2 and then breaking her hand in All-Stars 3, but I'd really like to see her do well here. There seem to be some natural groupings on this cast and she seems to be grouped in with these old friends from really early seasons and I think if they go toe to toe with the Kara's and the Leroy's of the world I don't know if the old school players can really come out on top but it would be cool to see Tina finally get a win. Tony's back, and this is a great photo, a photo of a king. I feel like Tony should go back on the main challenge, but we get his return here, and he's played in six seasons, losing four of seven eliminations and making one final. Also, he won Champs vs. Stars. Do we count that as a win? I'm counting that. His numbers are the best, but he's a beast, and Tony time when he's eating things is hilarious to me. He brings the potential for house drama, but I feel like it's been a while, and he's going to want to be on his best behavior. Next up, we have Tyree, and I think he has some of the worst stats probably ever. In six seasons, he lost six eliminations and left one due to family emergency and he's never made it past episode five i would be extremely impressed if he makes it to episode six on this season 
He does have a few friends on this cast that will help him. Mostly, I would like to see some fun from him. I feel like the girl summoning him to the hot tub is one of the funniest MTV moments, and there's some potential for drama with Jasmine being on here, but I feel like they're probably past that, right? And lastly, we have Veronica. I'm always excited for Veronica to be on a cast, but it's never because of her challenge ability. Over 13 seasons, she won two out of six eliminations, making it to four finals in her early days and winning three of them, all of which being team wins. I don't have much faith at all in her being able to win a solo final or really even get there, but I'd love to see it happen and I feel like that would be really good for her. I'm mostly excited because I think she's fun and it's entertaining to see her team up with her old pals one more time for old time's sake. Overall, I think this is a great cast. It's full of a lot of previous relationships that we get to see play out. I'm going to make winner picks one guy and one girl who I feel like have what it takes to win this season. I don't want one winner. I'm through with that bullshit. For the guys, I'm gonna have to give it to Leroy. I feel like most of the times that he's lost, it's just been unlucky and I just feel like he's going to get to the final and I feel like he's due for a win. So Leroy, for the girls, I think it's tough. There's a few that are really strong, but I'm going to go with Rachel. I just get the feeling that Rachel is about to body these girls and these guys. So that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, give it a like. I'll be back in April to cover this season. For now, I'm still covering Challenge 39. So check those out if you're a first time listener. Let me know in the comments who's your winner pick for the season. I'll be back in April to talk about All Stars. Until then, have a nice month. Bye.